Okay, so we got the bees home and we've got these little staples and I gotta start pulling them out. And we had one to get loose in the car. We don't know how he did it, but we found a container and we captured him so that he wouldn't be abandoned in Tennessee or wherever. We was in Georgia, in Georgia. And so now I'm gonna start taking out the staples and, uh, and everything, hopefully. And letting them out. I hadn't let them out yet. Bring the camera over here and do a close up. Mama, Mama's safe. We've got our cars set and ready to roar. We've got the doors open, don't we, Mama? That's right. We've got the doors open on the car. We've got the car turned around to go. And we got the car pointed in the right direction. So, because we figure they're going to be mad. Are they going to be mad, Mama? I hope not, but I believe they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we think they're going to be mad. And so, we're taking out these little staples. Hey, Steve. Did you happen to bring two screwdrivers? Mm -hmm. I know. I thought it would be easier. The man was going, enough, enough, over. on the how many staples he was putting in there because I was asking Maybe for I more. Maybe I can just grab back from channel locks and pull it off. There. Yeah. Staples are going to go where Yeah, and you can't get these staples out later because even at night, they got these little worker bees that are just poised and ready to discuss with you how bad you are about being right up here at their beehive. So I felt like if there's any staples... Let me see something before you take too many out. <laughs> what did you say? What I was thinking of is I could uh, hold it on there. So they can't yeah, I'm taking out a few. I'm going to take my gloves off for this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm just taking them off like one here and one there at the moment. Um, so... Uh, we can uh, get them out. So we'll bring you back after we get more staples out. So hit the little red button, Mama. Okay. Okay. Now, Steve. Yeah, but this one here is on the bottom. I think it needs to come up. Did you? Are you recording? Well, it, it blinked, and it. You look. Yeah, 13 seconds. Okay. Get a close up. Get a close up. They're not loose yet. We've removed all the staples from the bottom, except for this one. We're going to get this one out. We may regret it. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be all right. Okay. It's going to take them a while to realize what's happening. Uh -huh. So now we need to take a couple of these top ones out so that tonight it'll be easier to remove the screen from the thing. Okay. I right, grab it. I got this. Do you let them out today? Yeah, we're gonna let them out in a few minutes, Mama. If they start escaping, we're just gonna run. We're gonna run like there's like there's a critter after us. I believe we can just fold it up and grab it for these and just give it a yank. Of course, we don't want to yank the hive off the base. So That's right. Okay. The thing about them, they don't hurt too bad. <laughs> That's a good thing they about them. They ain't like yellow jackets. They ain't like yellow jackets. They're strongly pursuing over here. Hold on. I need to do something. You think they'll stay? What are you going to do? I'm going to turn that choke off that four wheeler for it dies on. Okay. I thought it was a good idea for you to turn the four wheeler off because well, it might attract their madness. <laughs> <laughs> so, over here, they're seriously trying to escape from that little port of Kyle. And We've still got little Buddy here to let go of, to let him go. And I, I was starting to think maybe I would better let little Buddy out loose over there by the car. <laughs> Just hope he, he smells home and goes home. 
<laughs> okay, so I think right now if we just loosen these, sta these staples. where they are get ripped. Out there trying to get out. Where? Right by your screwdriver. <laughs> See them? Yes. They're all punched up in that loose spot. Yeah. I, I, that was like a big, big area of trying to get loose while ago. They keep them to get out. <laughs> Steve's like, these little critters are freaks to get out on us. You better be prepared to run. Yeah, can the if queen... you don't panic, be calm, everybody. Just be calm. You know, I'm not long for recording, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, Mama, mm -hmm. uh, turn the recorder off, and we'll get ready. Yeah, Hit record, out. Mama. Just give them time to It's settle. a recording. Don't settle down. <laughs> they started escaping. We were, I didn't have my gloves on. See if this is still recording. Oh, the bumblebee come to visit. See if it's still recording for sure. <laughs> yeah, 22 minutes. Twick it. Okay. So I let little buddy out. Scalded snake. They're still after us. <laughs> he says, Mama says, take it, take it. What you doing, Mama? Are you running? <laughs> okay. So, pull my glove on, Steve. On or off? On. Help me slide it on. All right. Mama, put the screwdriver in my car. No running off with the screwdriver. <laughs> okay. So here we go. I know little buddy is happy to get out of that container. They're free. Freedom. So what do you think? I think they're free at last. <laughs> what do you think, Mama? I think speak softly. Are you going to get a hive next? Okay. <laughs> I'm all excited. I have bees. I know it. I know at first I thought it was the bees swarming. All right. Take that other brood box out and it on the ground. No, I thought we'd take it up to the house. He said it had a little place on it that needed to be uh -huh. glued. All right, so that's day one of Kimberly's bees. What we gotta do now? We need to find your smoker. Yeah, and we gotta we gotta uh, obtain a super because that's the brood box. Now we gotta give them a place to store honey. Oh, they ain't got no. It's got a place to put honey in there. For them to keep, but okay. for the extra honey that we get to eat. I thought that's what the box he gave us was. No, that's another breed box, brood box. So we got to buy us a super. I wonder if them pre made ones will fit on there. I hope so. We're going to measure and see. Is
Is it is it a foreign body in the yard, Governor? The governor says that there's a strange thing out there. I do not approve of this modification to my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gov, you gonna come out here and see the bees with us? Gov! Come on, Gov! <laughs> he says, no, I've got something I've ate that I don't set with me. I'm gonna have to deposit that first. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. <laughs> Still busy, huh? Oh, they're very active. Surely they've located by now. I don't know I'm worth that sucker big enough for <laughs> He says, yeah, That high box is too than, big. <laughs> they might have crammed in more than this. No, uh, it's not two layers. That's one big open box. Does it got a foundation in the top too, or is that just a hollow box? It's an open box with ten, with twelve frames in it, or ten, whatever it fills it. The it's frames are in the top, but they hang down. The, you remember the ones in the store that was real long? I mean, real deep. So it hangs down into that. The, even though it looks like that's two boxes, and I think it may be, it hangs down in there, almost touches the bottom. Uh -oh. But there is a space on the bottom vacant. Well, happy little bees. Hey, girl. Look what we got over here. We wanted you to see it when we was around, so maybe you wouldn't, you wouldn't decide to stick your nose in it later and get stung. Dove. They'll get you. Ah, 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 ah. That's right. Bad. Good boy. Good boy. Maybe that'll be enough and he won't put his nose in there. So they're very interesting, ain't they, Gov? Yeah. 